what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Monster Pretty Guys, another video. Guys, in today's video, we're showing you guys the best tips and tricks for console players. You guys, as you guys can see, I play on PlayStation 4. I literally have a scuff, but there's no back paddles. And a lot of people have questions like, how do you build fast with no scuff? I do not play claw. If you don't know what claw is, it's basically when you play like this. So you can actually push these buttons with your pointy finger. Um, I do not play claw. I literally just play standard just like this. That's exactly how I play. And a lot of people have been asking questions like, yo, Motion, how do you build so quick? And I want to give you guys the best console tips on building you guys so th that's exactly what we're gonna do in today's video you guys killed the last video I said if you guys break a thousand likes we'll do a part two you guys hit like a thousand and like 300 likes on that video which is insane if you guys want a part three for building tips make sure to give this video a thumbs up the likes are very very much appreciated you guys but with that being said you already know we're gonna go Wailing Woods we're gonna get as much mats as we possibly can so that way I can show you guys the best techniques in building. So starting off, we're gonna land in Wailing Woods. The reason we're doing this, we don't normally do this. If this isn't a, a gameplay, this isn't, we're not trying to get a victory royale. I'm literally just trying to get as much mats as I possibly can so I can show you guys how to build ramps, how to ramp rush people, and how to defend yourself when you're getting ramp rushed and stuff like that. So you guys, Make sure to pay attention to these tips and tricks. Um, if this was a normal gameplay, I probably wouldn't be going Wailing Woods because Wailing Woods has the worst loot in the game. Um, this tree right here has a lot of... Uh, there's actually not that many people here with me. Actually, people are going to those houses. All right, we're going to hit this, these two chests right here, and then we're going to go hit that chest, and then we should be good. We should be good on weapons and stuff like that. The reason we need weapons is just in case. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. And the weapons we got are doo doo. I don't like. I, I hate that weapon. I I just I just suck with the scope there, so I can't use it. Oh my goodness, a grenade launcher. I mean, this is all right. It's decent loot. Uh, we're gonna keep going into Wailing Woods. The circle's not on us, which does suck because whenever we do a video like this and the circle's not on us, we're usually spending a lot of the time running. But I'm gonna get mats and stuff like that, and then I'll see you guys. Once I have all my material, because no one wants to watch me farm a couple trees. So basically, if you guys missed the last video, we covered multiple different things on ramp rushing, you guys. We covered how to do, or the best way to do this. This is one of the better techniques. It's a double, double reinforcements. If you guys don't remember, make sure to go watch that video. We talked about all that stuff, you guys. We talked about the double ramps, double wall, double ramp, double wall. We talked about all these techniques, you guys. But in today's video, I wanted to cover how to rush a person if they have high ground. So for instance, let's say there's somebody up there in that base. Now what we wanna do is we don't wanna rush them in the open, we don't wanna hit them straight on. We wanna use stuff like trees, trucks, anything that's on the map as a way to get closer to the person. So we basically use these trees as a line of sight. Basically what I mean by that is, as you guys can see, I cannot see the one by one. I'm using the trees as a line of sight so they don't know that I'm coming from this way. And then when I'm close enough or I'm at a good angle, like right here, they can't see me, I'm going to go ahead and push up right here. Now, when they can see me, which is right here, this is when they notice me. This is when you're going to want to put up a wall right here, right here, right here. Jump up, put up another wall here, here to reinforce it. And then you have a clear sight above the other person, you guys. That's one of the techniques that we covered in the last video, you guys. It works very, very good. Let me try and kill this guy that's over here real quick. I think there's one more here with us. Nope, it was just him. Another technique that I want to show you guys is say this is someone's base. Somebody's in there right there. Um, now what you want to do is since we have no line of sights to get to them, say we're down here and we have no line of sights. What we can do to push up to them is put up stairs. If say we say we put up our stairs too late and we can't get above the person. So basically what I mean by above the person is like what we did over there. If I can't get above the person, I put up my stairs too early and they're above me, I could put up this floorboard right here and it distracts them. It distracts them for a split second because if you think about them, it's going to distract them. And let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. So if I'm in here and somebody put that floorboard down, I'm going to be just spamming and shooting it as, as much as I possibly can trying to kill them now there's no way that i can shoot them so basically you're going to be spamming this as much as you can go ahead and put one down to the side one down to this side so they don't know where you are edit it quick once you edit it as quick as you can this is why practicing your editing is really good you need to edit it as quick as you can click this 
confirm it and keep going up and then keep putting up walls you guys that's the best way to do it if you guys don't know nick uh 30 what he does is basically every stair he puts up he puts up one of these does this does another one puts another one above him edits it he's just very very quick at doing that you guys and of course the quicker you get the better you will become at doing it so this is why i encourage you guys to keep practicing push people if you possibly can if you want to get better at the game you need to push as many people as possible now the next thing that i'm going to cover is how to win a build off usually uh you want to get the high ground and a lot of people that's what they've been doing lately is getting the high ground the second someone has high ground advantage on you we covered it in the last video it's good because of multiple reasons Let's try and kill this girl real quick. We're going to get the high ground. And just gun her down, I guess. And getting the high ground, you can look down at them. You can shoot them. It's a lot easier. So I'm going to show you guys. If you're in a build-off, say you're in a one-by-one. -one and somebody's building up to you guys. Say somebody's building up to us from over there. And they're trying to get above us. They're trying to get high ground. Instead of a lot of people make the mistake. And they think they have to build four corners. And then stairs, four corners, and then stairs. But that is not what you have to do, you guys. That is not the best technique for you to do in this game. So basically, say someone is rushing us. Instead of building four corners, say he's rushing us from the south end. Instead of going all the way around and wasting your mats, just do a simple two wall, stairs, two walls, stairs, two walls, stairs, two walls, stairs. Now, this is how you get up higher than the other person, quicker than the other person. Now, this works because I know it does suck because you leave yourself vulnerable to people over here. But when you're in a build-off and they're trying to get up quicker than you, it's all about who has the quicker building, who can build up the highest, the quickest, and that's exactly how a lot of people end up winning the gunfights. It's not always about building four corners. When it comes down to a, a 1v1 situation where you're trying to actually kill that one person that's getting aggressive on you, that's what you want to focus on. Now, if someone starts shooting you from the other side, things get a little difficult, and that's just that the only way you can get good at that is just practice and time there's only freaking seven people left in this lobby i'm gonna try to find somebody that might be sitting in a one by one so we can try and push the up on them uh for the rest of the gameplay you guys for the tips and tricks i'm going to show you guys how to get aggressive and actually win your build offs and stuff hopefully we can end up winning this there's only seven people left the last seven people are probably going to be decent at the game because we're in the top 10 situation and a lot of people choke this situation when they get in this moment this is when they start choking so so far we covered how to rush people from above and how to win a build off again if you're trying to go up as quick as you can instead of letting them get above you just do the two walls and go up you do not have to do a full four corners a lot of people think that that's what you need to do but when it comes to speed it's not needed we're just going to run in the open someone's going to shoot at us and then we'll react off of that there's only six people um it's kind of quiet uh i would normally just if you're in this situation and you don't want to get aggressive you don't want to get better okay so someone could be up on this house we're going to push up on this house so what we're going to do is we're going to try to see exactly where they are it sounds like they're, they're in a fight and there's a lot of building over here which is good this means that we can actually we don't have as many mats as i was hoping to have but it's all right we're going to build up. Build up this way. Okay, so as, as you can see, this guy is above me. We're going to do this technique. Okay, if someone has a jetpack, it's kind of a little hard. But she had no nothing to do. She literally just tried running away. Holy crap, someone else is in this house. Whoever's in that house is hiding. They're scared. Someone's in that fort. We can try to rush that. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this since we got a little bit more mats out of that fight, we're going to go ahead and try and rush this. I should kill this guy right here. Actually, let me try to kill this guy real quick, you guys. I think he's under this. Yeah, I think he's under these stairs. Oh! She pumped me big time. She's scared though, so she, hopefully we can try and kill her. Sounds like she's running away. Yeah. Alright, this guy's not even in the circle, so we're not even going to push him. Okay, there's a base right here. 
And there's somebody shooting at them, so this is going to be a good one. I'm going to use the line of sight. The cover I'm going to use is the big barn. I'm going to try to get at a good angle so that way I can push up on them. Every weapon I have is reloaded and good to go. And now let me show you guys. So they're building up. I'm going to do this, this technique. We're going to double reinforce so that way she doesn't knock us down. Okay, so she's putting traps down. That's, that's very smart of her. I think what we need to do, it sounds like she's trying to get down. So what we need to do is we need to get down ourselves. And then what we can do is we can just set up a nice little thing right here and destroy it. Knock down her build. Because if we knock it down, she's gonna end up falling down. We could try and kill her. Yeah, see, as you can see, she fell down. Ooh, the storm's coming. There we go. Someone else was shooting at her, though. It's, oh, it's a 1v1. I think it's this person up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build, resituate ourselves, reload every weapon we have. I think the other person is up there. We do not have a launch pad, so we can't launch pad to them. Um, all we have to do is push up to them because they have high ground. This is a perfect example. So what we're going to do is we're going to push up by just constantly building. Now, we don't know if they're there 100%, but we're not going to risk it. We're going to play it safe. Okay, so yeah, yeah, see? Last person's right here just camping. Look at her. Didn't know what the heck was going on, but guys, that's how you ramp rush, you guys. You gotta practice, you gotta get aggressive, you gotta push people because the better you get at getting aggressive, the better you'll get at the game, and I promise you guys that. So make sure to get aggressive. Use these techniques that I showed you in this video and the last video. If you guys want a part three, give this video a thumbs up and we'll bring you guys another video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.